Hey, Julie, the current emergency, a peacetime emergency declaration ends on September 11th or this coming Friday night. And so if the governor decides to extend that another 30 days, he'll have to call the legislature back most likely for a special session on Friday. And if that happens, it could be curtains for more of the governor's cabinet members. As a career teacher, Tim Walls can barely contain his excitement on the first day of school. He invited the media to join him at Wyoming Elementary to show what's possible in places where local school boards can find a way to get children back into the classroom safely. This is the real testing point. If we can manage over the next few weeks to keep schools open, keep infection rates low, um, to keep that transmission low and people start thinking about that, we're in a pretty good space. The governor has compared his lockdown strategy to dials that can be turned in any direction, but he's the one holding that dial, steering the state through the COVID sea, as it were. And the Capitol Republicans say it's time to let the legislature be the captain. We're looking at all those numbers and saying, Governor, you don't need the emergency powers. It's going to be almost a half a year, a half a year of emergency powers with no end in sight. So that's why we're asking him to come up with some parameters so that we know what is the pathway out of here so that the legislative branch can work together with the governor rather than the governor having all the decision making. The governor notes that three of the biggest COVID hotspots right now border Minnesota, and he's not sure if a divided legislature can respond fast enough if things go the wrong way. Our goal was never to lock the entire thing down. It's unsustainable. Um, and our goal was never to just turn things loose and just say that, you know, lots of our neighbors are expendable. Now, the governor's watching a lot of stats and a lot of, uh, of the parameters right now. Republicans say the ones they're paying attention to are the hospitalization rate and the supplies of PPEs. And they say, based on that, they think we're no longer in an emergency. Now, if there is a special session, you might see Republicans go after Commerce Commissioner Steve Kelly. In a recent hearing, they said they were very unhappy with the fact that he uh, authorized another lawsuit, which will delay the Line 3 pipe line. Back to you.